I'm Bernie Leaving, Congregational Care Pastor here at Palmasia United Methodist. Welcome to this week's prayer cast, in which our attention is directed to the window depicting Pope John the 23rd. I am still amazed and love the fact that over 50 years ago the decision was made to include not only St. Francis of Assisi, but Pope John the 23rd in the Christian leaders who has significantly impacted the influence of the Christian church and included them in our windows. Pope John the 23rd is in the window because his Pacum in Terrace, Peace on Earth Encyclica, pictured in the left panel with a handshake and an olive branch, charted a new course for Christians and for the church to the essential task of peacemaking. It was issued on April the 11th, 1963. Unfortunately, he lived only another two months after its issue. But do we ever need its message in our world today, given the mass killing in Orlando over this past weekend? The encyclical was the first to ever be addressed to all men of goodwill, not just to the church. It was addressed to you and to me. It called for conflicts to be resolved not by recourse to arms, rather they are to be resolved by negotiation. It called for peace to be achieved by the order laid down by God, an order based on truth, justice, charity, and freedom. It declared that every person has the right to life, to bodily integrity, and to the means which are suitable for the proper development of life. When the encyclical was published, the Washington Post called it, and I'm quoting now, not just the voice of an old priest, nor just that of the ancient church. It is the voice of the conscience of the world, end quote. Pope John was trying not only to influence the Catholic Church. He wanted to impact women's rights, church-state relations, and international relations so that the nations would develop relations with others, even those we might call enemies. The right panel depicts his vision of the United Nations being the window for such a transformation, for a world seeking peace, along with people such as the deeply spiritual United Nations Secretary General, Dag Hammarskjöld, whose verse is quoted in the panel, Before thee in humility, with thee in faith, in thee in peace. If only we as individuals, the church around the world, and nations could begin to live out in our daily lives Pope John the 23rd's vision of a peace in the world. The closing prayer is from Packham in Terrace. Please pray with me. May God banish from the hearts of all people whatever may endanger peace. May God transform them into witnesses of truth, justice, and brotherly and sisterly love. May God enlighten the rulers of all people so that they may defend the great gift of peace. May God rekindle the wills of all so that they may overcome the barriers that divide. Cherish the bonds of mutual charity. Understand others and pardon those who have done them wrong. May all people of the earth become as brothers and sisters. And may the most longed for peace blossom forth and reign always among them. Amen. God bless the rest of your week. Get out to church somewhere this Sunday to worship the God of peace.